Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Emerald. If you do enjoy this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and if you don't follow the link down in the description to my Patreon page to become a patron for one dollar, that'd be greatly appreciated. So oh and uh be sure to be part of the conversation down in, in the my Discord server, down in the link down in the description. And also be sure sure to share this video, because if you may never know, someone might like this kind of content. So, yes. Now we're back to this. Well, back to this is the incorrect way to put it, but you get the idea. Um, so yeah. I, beat a, 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 I beat the fourth gym leader, and so now I seem to have a problem right now. I forgot I'm in a sandstorm. I found Stardust. Fantastic. Let me guess, you can't see me. Okay, let's see. There should be a tower made of sand around here somewhere. But for some reason it can't it can be seen sometimes and sometimes not. That's why I call it hit the Mirage Tower. Well is it here? Hello. Let's see, I'm having a pit like, in the desert. You can always find a trainer so I can enjoy a battle here too. You are the definition of crazy lady. Or are you a little girl? Of course, never mind. I do not understand. What is your logic here? Anyway, so that doesn't Amber it. Wow. Wow. Oh wait, that's right. I forgot. Sand tree have the ability to increase their evasiveness through sandstorms. How useful. But of course, it is perhaps the most ugh. I mean, honestly, just ugh. At this point in time, you sand attack and then raise your. It's like, ugh. so that means it, so 100% uh, hit rate is now down to 80%. And it's like, oh, you sons. Ooh, lady. Ugh. That's what happens when you heavily rely on one Pokemon to win battles. Finally, just put out uh, my Diana. Mighty Anna, you go out. Only reason because... Uh, what's it? Uh, Altoy. Is a psychic crown Pokemon. So the benefit to this is, guess what? Trouble, please! Psychic are weak against dark Pokemon. That's you. Yes, I know. I figured it out, didn't I? Uh, Well, Mudslap has its advantages, so it's like, yeah, okay. I mean, I'm willing to accept that. It's still bullshit, though. Especially on my end. Ow, what? Uh, such a jerk, oh my gosh. It's, it's always gonna use, if all, that's all she's gonna use, it's like, well, oh, sure. She caught a huge break, and now it's irritating. Now you may be thinking, what about Boltoy? Does it have a, does it have that special ability like Sandshrew? No, it does not. Uh, quite frankly, it uses Levitate, so ground moves don't have a use for a, a use a effectiveness for it. So yeah. Oh, you're me, and sorry, but you're crazy. Oh wait. If I have a full heal, do I have full heal? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Only one. Oh, uh, what kind of potions do I have? I have plenty of super potions. Pointless and laser kid, but every other Pokemon. <laughs> one thing I do need to do is actually get that for my Aron. <coughs> Excuse me. Is it not? Yeah, whatever. Give me a break. Stop talking to me. Can I just turn this damn thing off? No. This is gonna be where the Mirage Tower is. I am not gonna go after these people. No, no, no. Bye. So yeah. Uh, 
I just don't remember when the Mirage Tower comes up. But at the same time, it's kind of... Uh, great, what have, I do? what have I done? A Geodude. I haven't caught very many Pokemon, so... I need to go my Pokemon. Is it, who knows? Maybe... Our arm's a bit powerful, but it's... Well, more powerful than Geodude by 10 levels, but it's still kind of like... Well, but it's like... Tackle's not going to do much. Headbutt. So I'll just throw a Pokeball and call it a day. Pokeball, go! Easy, it comes. Yeah! Yeah, I know, I know what I'm doing. Do I? I don't know. Alright. I don't nickname Pokemon anymore. Crazy. Ain't it right? And I don't know if I've actually told the stories about, like, uh, my first three, you know, it was four level 100 Pokemon. I don't remember which one. Oh, that's right. Oh, gosh, that was so long ago. Uh, wait, what was it? Oh, gosh, I don't... Uh, I was like, oh, gosh, that was 18 years ago. Holy crap. Yeah, all of a sudden, memory lane. Um, yeah, they had to Zapdos, Mewtwo... Sneasel and Lugia. Twas the three Pokemon that I used. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. I was just thinking about going, how am I going to get back to Pedalburg? And it was like, oh, just go this way. Just crazy wicked speed, yeah? Alright, uh, let's go to the Pokemon Market and see if I can find some full heals. I mean, I'm probably loaded with money, so... Well, I wouldn't say 40,000 is loaded, but either way. Alright, let's see some no full heals. Did I? I did. Out of spite of the fact or something like that? Alright. Alright. Yeah, it's, it's funny though. Just the fact that uh, I nicknamed all those Pokemon, I think it was hilarious. Nowadays, I think about it and kind of go, wow, I really had, I mean, I had an imagination, but at the same time, it's like, really? Oh, here we are. So, just because the names were so uninvent, well, except one of them, but it was just kind of like, like, well, let me, actually, hold on, did I, did I actually name, No, I can't remember. I don't think I actually named Lugia anything. Lugia. That's good, that's fine. Alright. So this is gonna bug me for a while now. Because I don't know. Gosh, I even, oh, that's right, I even had a Moltres. Uh, Moltres? Yeah. And I didn't name it something. I can't remember though. Ugh, things you don't remember. Oopsies. Okay. Now back in Petalburg. Right. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Champion Bound? Causal door is in this gym open when you beat the uh, waiting trainers. Oops. The doors in this room are already open, so don't don't attack me. Trainers of Petalburg, oh, yeah, the trainers use all kinds of types. The door at the left leads to a speed room, the door on the right leads to an accuracy room. Uh, the room's name will be on the door, so choose carefully. Once you're, you've chosen the door, well, hey, go for it. Happy trails, I guess. Yes. I mean, I'm gonna go through all these rooms, but it should be easy pieces. The ability to attack before the opponent. Just that alone puts me at a great advantage. Don't you agree? Yes and no. Because if anything, the one... Well, I mean, it's in terms of what I know. Um, I 
mean, in terms of what I know, which most people are working on, is that um, if you attack first, I mean, you leave yourself wide open if you don't do it correctly, depending on what your Pokemon is. Whereas if you have a Pokemon with good enough defense, well, then, and it's still fast, it's like, well, there you go. That was a magnificent battle. It was done in one move. Seconds. Do you want to guess? No questions asked. Oh, wait. I mean, I can do a straight shot, but at the same time, it's better to just get all the Pokemon or take on all the trainers so that way. This is the confusion room. Let me see how well bound bonded you are with your. your I don't know if I read that correctly, but anyway. But the thing is, though, it's more. it's better for the experience, so. for all the Pokemon. Very impressive. It's just like it was focusing. Yeah, we got knocked out. I couldn't confuse your team enough. You, sh you share a strong bond together. Barely made a move, but whatever. Uh, strength, strength room. The sign says. Do you want to go through? Yes. Yes, I do. Don't argue with me. I want to go through. Our gym leader told us to go all out and beat you, even if you happen to be the leader's kid. Okay. My feelings won't be hurt. Is that goose? Ooh, okay. This will be done pretty quick. I went all out. So did I. Is this is the gym leader. Yep. So that would be a, a huge negatory. I do not want to go that way. I went all out. So did I. Alright. Let's see. Defense room. The sign says, Do you want to go through? Yes. No debate. Alright. The higher the defense, the more rec reckless I can be. Be an attack. Uh, yes and no. So no, you can take it, but at the same time, uh, Wigglytuff does not constitute uh, defense. To be frankly honest. Not only that, its defense sucks. Well, that was pointless. I was just like, oh shit. But then it was just like, oh, our def defenses weren't enough, I think. You're relying on, you're re relying on defensive and HP. Strength, no. There. You're relying more or less on a one hit kill. Oh no. <laughs> well then. I'm not going to take it easy just because you're our leader's kid. I'll show you how horrid it is for a Pokemon to take a critical hit. Okay. I mean, come on. But anyway. I'm trying to wonder what is the universe of Vigoroth. There is no one hit KO moves as far as I know that Vigoroth has. As far as I know. Again, Vigoroth wasn't fast enough. Eh. Thank you for the free levels. Alright, let's see. Your power. You're the real deal. Well, it's because I keep using one Pokemon. Let's see. Yep, alright, backward. Backwards we go. Unless I already beat it. Is he accuracy room? Nope. I did not. Giggle. This is the accuracy room. That's pretty nasty when you're when when every attack lands without fail. Uh oh. So 
that's what we're gonna go up against. Someone who thinks that they can hit every time. I swear, it looks like Deli Kitty was just sticking her tongue out like, there's no way you can beat me. Uh, I just died. Sassafras. You were a cut above me. That? I got nothing to say about that. It's recovery room. Just when you think you're going to win, your opponent's rage restores HP. Can you just imagine how awful that must feel? I can. I'll show you exactly how awful it feels. Sure. I have to wonder why sla uh, slack slack off. Yeah, that's how it's pronounced. Constitutes HP recovery. Not only that, it's. I mean, it can evolve into a, a very strong Pokemon. It's a double Pokemon all, all around it. Anyway, I couldn't restore my HP enough. What attack power! Yep. So what I do? What did you okay, well, I do? But yeah, if you've ever watched my Pokemon Coliseum video, uh, videos, I've gone to. I think it was like. Uh, I, uh, I don't know, but whatever. Heal my Pokemon. Not that I need to. Alright. Well, for now, I'm going to end this episode right here, and in the next episode, I'm going to face off against uh, Nor uh, Norman? I think so. Well, the gym leader here. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like me to like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. And if you want to follow the link down in the description to my Patreon page, become a patron for $1, that'd be greatly appreciated. Also, be part of the conversation on my Discord server, link down in the description. And be very sure to share this video to whoever you might think might like it. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time.